Three reasons why women fall out of love with their men. She loses respect for you. In other words, you just do whatever you can to keep her and look for her to make you happy and to validate you and to make you feel like a good boy. You know, that feeling that you got when you're married, you're like, oh, I can finally rest and relax. That's the problem. The fact that she doesn't respect you because you've made her your whole world. And from her perspective, outside of her, you've really got nothing going on. Because if she left you right now, you know full well that your whole world would end and you would have no future and you wouldn't know what to do. That's the problem. You don't have a life outside of your wife. So she loses respect for you. Number two is she lied to get you. And this is very common for women. What they will do is when they're young, they're told that to be happy, to get what they want in life, they need to be married. They also need to have a job. They also need to stay fit. But part of it is, is that they have to be married and have kids. And so what ends up happening is that they'll just grab a guy who will provide this for them, who's just good enough. It's not really what she wants, but just good enough. And then what ends up happening, she tries to force this. So when she has the first kid or the second kid or the third kid, finally she's like, I've had enough. This isn't the guy I really wanted. I kissed his ass this whole time just to get him. And I didn't even really like him as a person. I'm not really happy being a mom. I don't really care about this house that we have. And I don't really care about this husband. He doesn't connect with me. I don't even know who he is anyway. I never really liked him. And so now like, what did I do? And so what she'll end up doing is she'll blame you for it. When really she just wasn't truthful to herself this whole time. The third reason, you're just not handling business. So when you were young, you were probably full of piss and vinegar and you got out there and you crushed it in the world. Then you got with her and you're like, oh, this woman's different. I can relax in life. I finally got this thing settled. And what ends up happening is like, you won't do well in business or you won't get promoted regularly or you just can't get out of just an hourly wage job. And so what ends up happening is that you'll start diminishing a life and then you'll look for your wife to try to boost you up, make you feel better. And she'll say, no, that's not the deal. The deal was for you to be the man and get out there and crush it. And I will follow you if I can trust you and know that you can get out there and crush it in the world. But the problem is you keep looking towards me to make you feel better about yourself instead of handling your business. And so as this happens, she becomes your mother. And if she's your mother, she cannot become your lover. And so she'll fall out of love with you and she'll wait for years for this to change and then it won't happen. She'll cheat on you or she'll just say, I don't want to be in here. And then you'll try to remedy it all quickly, like within a month or two. She'll be like, yeah, whatever. Why don't you do this like 20 years ago? Why did it take me leaving you to actually figure this out? And that's the thing is, is you relied on your wife to be your life. And from her perspective, you have nothing else going on. If you'd like more information, go to genuineattraction.com. My name is Ed Baxter.